Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our July 9th new releases. Um, keeping it simple this week as usual, and like last week and our normal monthly weeks, but simple this week with two new kits and a fall foil collection. Um, this collection is focused a little bit more on like pumpkins and such. Um, but there is like a little bit of a mix of a couple different things in here. And then we have two kits. Um, as you can see, they are similar-ish in color palettes, but one is champagne gold and one is rose gold. And then one is kind of like, they're just two different themes, um, but similar color palettes. So let's go ahead and do the foil first, I think. Um, so yeah, like I said, we do have some pumpkins this week for this week's foil. Um, and some other stuff mixed in. So starting off strong, we have the dotted pumpkin full box frames. Y'all have been liking the full box frames, so doing a couple more of those lately. So we have pumpkin ones. We also have these pumpkin vine ones. Definitely don't have to use these just for pumpkins because they do look like a pretty, I mean, they are definitely a pumpkin vine, but I feel like you could use it just as some pretty like vine outline too if you wanted to. We have some pumpkin transportation, so pumpkins in trucks and wheelbarrows. Some pumpkin dates, so you get two months of the actual like pumpkins, and then you have two months of the pumpkin cluster deco. Well, cluster dates, not deco, but yeah. Next we have, this is actually named incorrectly. Um, it happens sometimes, uh, and it's going to be that way uh, since all these are made. I just caught the mistake right before filming. So the listing is named appropriately, and like the skew is correct, but the name on the sheet is not correct. So that's fun. Anyway, these are pumpkins, pumpkin corners and patches. So you have like these little mini like patch divider looking things and some corners. And then we have, lastly, some fall windows. So some of them have pumpkins and some of them have leaves. So... There is that. For the washi, we have some fall fence washi. So here we have some sunflowers on the fence and then here we have some pumpkins. And then for this washi, we just have the pumpkin vine washi which matches those uh, full box frames that I just got done showing you. So there's the foil. Let's go first here with this kit called Smile. Um, this kit is like fall in Paris theme. Um, yeah, so love her. Even if you don't go to Paris, I feel like it's such a cute kit. So the quote says, Autumn, the year's last loveliest smile. I wanted to do champagne gold for this kit because a lot of the accents in this kit are really golden to me. So the Eiffel Tower looks pretty gold there. The bike is pretty gold. The some of the detailing on the door is gold as well. Normally with this rich of a color palette, mostly these two colors, I would go rose gold, which is what I did on the other kit with the similar palette. But this one, even some of the flowers have some golden tones in them. So I felt like champagne gold made the most sense. But anyway, here's the Eiffel Tower box with a little boat. Have you guys been keeping up on TikTok about how they're supposed to have like the open swim, uh, like Olympic activities? In this water here in Paris and it's like absolutely disgusting water and they even made like a to protest the French being the French it, it's a that's a good thing by the way not like a bad thing but the French being the French uh, they just decided that they like did a calculation on like based on where you are in Paris to like all use the restroom at the same time so that when they swim in it I think um, some leaders or something were saying in Paris that they were going to swim in it to prove that it was safe for swimming. So they all decided that they were all going to use the restroom in and at the same time so that it would be absolutely disgusting when they go to swim in it just to prove that it's not safe to swim in. Um, yeah, and then they reschedule it. I don't know. Very off topic. But if you haven't heard about that, you should look it up. I think it's very funny. Um, but I've seen that on TikTok. Um, so, yeah. Just made me think about that anyway here is this little like door that goes out into a balcony with a foiled chandelier a bike with a little bag on it and some falling leaves this really pretty storefront here 
with a foil street lamp, this girl here with some leaves flowing through her hair. My actual nightmare, but it looks really pretty like that. Here you can see the colors. So like this berry color alone would make me usually um, go for rose gold, especially with the peachy color, but I mean, I already explained why I did champagne gold. I still think it looks very pretty with champagne gold, of course. Then we have the functional page. So there's like a double dotted header here, your lace, of course, and your shapes. Off topic, but I am starting to think about our, we typically reformat like once a year. I'm starting to think about our reformat that's coming up soon. Um, so I don't know if you have any suggestions on what you would like to change in the kits, let me know. I'm collecting feedback now. I have an idea what I want to do. I feel like one of the ideas that I have is really good, but I don't know how to execute it. So I need to figure that out. Um, but yeah. anyway, so here is the washi and it, we have that same double dotted foil and then some scallops outlining it as well. Date covers, some deco here, lots of macarons, a little doorway, and some flowers. Here is the foiled add-on. Um, we have this like lace garland washi here and then some scallop garland dividers or like headers, I guess, some street lamps, some Eiffel Towers, blowing leaves, a chandelier, and then the quote that says, autumn of the year's last loveliest smile. Um, I did have someone say that um, the kit is in champagne gold, and like, does that mean that the add-on will be in champagne gold? I think someone asked um, one of our PRT members about that. Um, so... The foil that we use on this paper, the transparent mat, is different than the foil that we use on the kids because they just don't cooperate with each other. Um, so our gold that we use on our transparent mat, like, isn't a super like hot yellow gold. It's like in between a light gold and a regular gold, in my opinion. And then for our kits, before our, I didn't like the hot gold for that either. But then one of the foils we were using before was like too matte and not shiny enough. So that's what we have now is like champagne gold. So it's shiny. So the tones of the golds are a little different. As you can see here, this is a little bit like hotter than this, but I think that they look fine together in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's why we don't have the add on in, uh, champagne gold because we don't use that foil on our transparent mat. I hope that makes sense. Um, that's also like assuming that the person who asked that question um, watches these videos. I'm not sure. So um, yeah, so we have florals on the deco page. This is the deco add-on by the way. We have bike, the really pretty balcony that leads outside, and then the doorway, an Eiffel Tower, and then macarons. The journal add-on. The floral deco add-on and then the alcohol ink swatch add-on. So there is that. Next up we have Market. Like I said, very similar color palette as you can see. Um, but it is a lot more like mm, it's not Paris is what I'm trying to say. So it's very, this one's very scrapbooky. We have lots of like vintage writing, like swashes throughout, like behind the florals here, behind the, this little swing and behind this bench and such. So like very scrapbooky feeling. Um, I love these types of kits. I know some people are very like, love it. Some people hate it. Some people are like, I like it, but give me more variety, that type of thing. So. Feedback is always appreciated, but um, yeah, love how this kit looks. Um, I feel like it's like effortless scrapbook versus like some of the other ones where it like looks like very like intentionally like someone went and they layered it like themselves on the sticker. I don't know how to explain, but this one like I feel like flows really well. So up here first we have this window with some pumpkins on the windowsill, floral box. 
Here's a little like entryway with a foiled basket of pumpkins and a basket of flowers. Of course, another basket up here and some boots and um, two jackets. We have a little bench here with a pumpkin wheelbarrow and some foiled vintage writing. The quote says, pick your own fall market since 1954, hay rides, cider, pies, pumpkins. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff at that market. Then we have some more florals. We have this really pretty bench swing here with a pile of leaves on it and some falling leaves. And then we have this really cute like cottage quarry like kitchen that's just like filled with foliage and some pumpkin garland looking out the window. So there we go. Here is the color palette. So we have like a red, a like pinky peachy color, this nude color and then this creamy yellow. Here is the functional page. So we have this dotted pumpkin header. These foil floors are really especially pretty in this kit, I feel like. And then you have like vintage writing and some of these elements. Here is the bottom washi. So we have the foil florals and then this like pumpkin um, thin strip of washi. So coordinates with the headers but doesn't perfectly match. This type of thing would not like scale down well in the header anyway so it's fine. And then you have like that pink color for the date covers and then here we have some deco so with this really pretty like wicker chair, a basket of apples, acorn here, some coffee, and then a flowering can, watering can. Um, here is the foil add-on. So we have that like pumpkin patch, washi, and divider. This little, um, just some individual pumpkins and like clusters of pumpkins, some wheelbarrows, that fall market that was on the full box this window here with some pumpkins underneath. And then we have one through 31 pumpkin cluster date numbers. Here is the deco add-on. So we have this um, truck here, lamp, this front door area with a chair, this swing in the tree, fireplace, ladder, and a bunch of florals. And we have the journal add-on, lots of that vintage writing and watercolor textures. Oh, and then the stamps, we have the window scene and the kitchen. Here is the floral deco add-on. And then of course the alcohol ink swatch add-on. So cute. So that is everything that I have for you guys this week. Um, as usual, these are marked down in additional 10% this week only. Um, I posted the mood board for the July mystery on our website. I don't think I posted it on Instagram yet. I'll probably post it closer to when signups close. Um, but that is up. It's very fall and I love her. So hopefully you guys love it as well. Um, so if you want to sign up for that, those sign ups are open. I think that is everything that I have to share with you guys update wise and new release wise. Um, let me know what you think about this week's new releases in the comments below. Also, if you have like, any reformat suggestions, I'll take that as well. Um, yeah, I think that is everything. Bill is starting to make a ton of noise next door, so I guess that's my cue to um, end the video. Um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.